Hi guys, welcome to another video and today we're looking at electrical safety. Different technologies that are used to keep us safe with electrical appliances. Let's look at the first type of electrical safety which is something called earthing. We see earthing as an example in three core Should I just keep rolling? Otherwise, I can very well three quarters, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you just plug it up on the stack on the top again, and we'll just keep the stuff recording then. Okay. Um, yeah. Hi, guys, welcome to another video, and today we're looking at electrical safety. Our first electrical safety technique is something called earthing. Earthing is prevalent in three core cables. And what that means is that the cable will contain three different wires. We have the line, we have the neutral, and we also have the earth wire. Now, we typically use a three core cable if the appliance has a metal case. And what I've done is I've drawn an example of a heater. Um, the heater has a metal case, and you'll see that the earth wire is connected to that metal case. The live and the neutral wire complete the circuit. Now, as long as the earth, as long as the live and the neutral wire are connected, then the appliance works perfectly well. But over time, the live wire could become loose and it could touch the metal case. If the live wire was to touch the metal case, then that would mean the whole heater would become live. And if you were to touch that metal case, then we would become electrocuted. The purpose of the earth wire is to take, it provides a safe route for the current to be taken to the ground underneath our homes, meaning that the appliance is still safe to touch and we don't get electrocuted. For appliances that have a plastic case, um, and I've used the example of a hairdryer, we only need a two core cable. And the only two cables that are used in an appliance like the hairdryer would be the live wire and also the neutral. We have no need for an earth wire if the appliance has a plastic case. We say appliances with a plastic case are doubly insulated and we represent that using a square with a smaller square inside of it. Another technique for us to stay safe when using electricity are fuses. Um, when we go out to buy a fuse, it's important that we buy the correct fuse for the appliance. And the three common fuses are 3 amp, 5 amp, and 13 amp fuses. What that means is that the fuse will safely allow 3 amps, 5 amps, or 13 amps of current to flow through it without it actually melting. If too much current flows through an appliance, it could cause it to overheat and catch fire. If the fuse that we use for the appliance is too low, well then the fuse would just keep blowing. But let's have a look at how a fuse works. A fuse contains a thin piece of wire, and that thin wire melts if the current's too high. The fuse should always be placed in series with the live wire, so that if the live wire current is too high, it will blow the fuse, meaning it cuts off the current from our appliance. We've next got a circuit breaker. 
Circuit breakers work by breaking the current um, if there's a fault in the appliance. And what happens is um, the current will flow along this electromagnet. Again, if the current is too high, it will cause the electromagnet to um, pull this switch at the top open. If the switch is open, then the current can no longer flow to the appliance. What we have to do is then find the fault and then reset the switch. Our final electrical safety method is something called the RCCB. The RCCB is favoured over the fuse and the circuit breaker as it works much quicker and it's a lot more sensitive than the fuse or the circuit breaker. Well, how does an RCCB work? Well, an RCCB works where there's no earth connection, there's no earth wire. And here, we've got a man cutting his grass uh, with a lawnmower, and the current coming into the lawnmower is at one amp. So the lag wire has a current of one amp here. The current returning from the lawnmower is 0 0.8 amps, which means there's 0.2 amp difference. The RCCB measures that difference and cuts off the appliance. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in, stay in touch with another video.